Hello there. My name's Gabriel. I'm doing a PhD in particle physics. And because of the experiment that I work on, I got to work at one of the coolest places on the planet. Right now, I'm in a little quiet French town called Sergi, which is where I live. And behind me, you can see the French Alps. So in a minute, we're gonna get on the bus and I'm gonna take you to my lab. So this here, this here is CERN, also known as the European Organization for Nuclear Research. Now this research facility was founded in the 1950s by the European nations who wanted a place for their researchers and physicists to research and do physics. And at the time, their experiments were really small tabletop experiments that gave us our first glimpses into what the subatomic world was all about. But now, our experiments well, we have the largest experiment in the world, in fact. We have the largest machine in the world. And this here is a model of what the machine looks like. I can't remember if this is a model or if it was actually part of the machine before. So this is a section of what's known as the Large Hadron Collider. The actual thing is about 100 meters underground from where I'm standing right now. And it makes a 27 kilometer long circle under Geneva and a bit of the French countryside. And what it does is it accelerates protons to almost the speed of light and makes them crash into each other. And we take pictures of these collisions with these massive, massive detectors. So this here is the control room of my experiment, the Atlas experiment. It's one of the detectors situated at the collision points of the LHC. In a sense, what it does is it takes pictures of the proton collisions that occur inside the LHC. We look at these pictures to study the physics of how all these particles interact. And by studying these interactions, we get to figure out how our universe came to be and why it is the way it is. This is a Lego model of Atlas. In reality, the barrel-shaped detector is about 25 meters in diameter, 46 meters long, weighs 7,000 metric tons, has 3,000 kilometers of cable, and order of 100 million readout channels. Two years ago, I sat at one of these desks in the control room for the first time. I remember feeling like I was on the bridge of the Starship Enterprise. After that brief tour of the experimental facilities, let me show you what I actually do from day to day. So I'll beep into CERN right here and head over to my office. Usually I work in one of these office buildings here at CERN. Once I get in, I just get my workplace set up. And today I'm working on a research poster that I'm going to present in a conference soon. It's not public yet, so I can't show it to you. But uh, you can take a peek at this little corner. So right now I'm in downtown Geneva, which is where I like to hang out on Sundays. I like to just take long walks through this amazingly, amazingly beautiful city. And while I'm going on this walk, why don't I tell you a little bit about how I got here, how I came to be a particle physicist. When I was a kid, I was always really interested in how things worked. I remember asking my dad things like, oh, why do some buses have two axles and why do some buses have three axles? Or asking, oh, why does a light bulb light up when you connect it to power? Or how do boats float? Things like that. It always fascinated me to see how the world just worked, how everything is just here, and it, and it works. When I was in school and deciding what subjects to take, the way I thought was, well, I'm curious about how the physical world works, and so I do science. And if I looked at all the sciences and I thought about which one was the most fundamental, uh, biology is interesting. Biology is very close to home. It's about how our bodies work. But then biology is kind of just applied chemistry in a sense. Uh, and chemistry in a similar vein is just sort of applied physics. Uh, of course, you could say physics is applied math, but then, well, math is a bit too theoretical for me. I went with, since I wanted to understand how the world, the physical world works, I went with physics. And when I was in university, there was an opportunity for me to go to CERN. At the time, I didn't really know what CERN was all about. I knew it was where the World Wide Web was invented by Tim Berners-Lee. 
Uh, but that was pretty much it. I didn't really understand that much about what it did, how it did what it did, and all that. But anyway, I applied. I got the research placement. And I really fell in love with the place, with the people, with the culture, with the atmosphere uh, that is at CERN. And perhaps most importantly, going back to what I was talking about earlier, CERN is interested in particle physics. That is the physics of the most fundamental units of matter in the universe. Which is kind of like answering the, the ultimate physical why. Why do chemicals interact the way they do? Why do we even have different elements? And how do the protons and neutrons in these elements sort of stay together? How did this universe even come to be? To form what we know right now. This is, this is what particle physics is all about. And I'm really happy that right now I get to do my PhD in particle physics. In addition to satisfying my curiosity, coming all the way out here just to do physics does have extra perks. One of the benefits of coming to CERN to do my PhD is that I get to hang out in this beautiful, beautiful city that is Geneva. I really like this city. I first came about three years ago and the city just never gets old to me. It's just so beautiful, so relaxing, so calm. Lac Le Mans is one of Geneva's treasures. This beautiful, beautiful freshwater lake is one of my favorite places to hang out here in Geneva. When it's not too hot, of course, uh, I like to sit by the lake, read, or just chill. I've even taken naps by this lake, actually. It's just so, so beautiful, so peaceful, so calm.